Monday and it is here in Canada Thanksgiving Monday so happy Thanksgiving for all of you that are celebrating Thanksgiving today um, I said I was gonna come on at noon every day um, during the weekdays for sure uh, and that's what today is hi Joanne how are you there we go uh, so I thought I would come on with my water and touch base with everybody and see how everybody's doing and how um, the those of you that are doing the Rachel Hollis last 90 days challenge Joanne I don't know if you're doing that challenge if you heard about it um, and touch base and see how everybody's doing on it so I'm gonna give a couple minutes for people to jump on board drink my water <laughs> and I'm gonna be pretty quick today what I wanted to chat about today is I wanted to chat about today's um, today there was if you watched Rachel and Dave's live on Instagram today um, Dave said something that really resonated with me and I shared it in their um, Facebook group made for more I don't know if you're part of that Facebook group as well but I shared on there as well he said something that um, I've been trying to figure out and articulate within myself why sometimes I like I'm on a challenge whether it's health or fitness or something and I'm doing really well I'm seeing results things are going well and then all of a sudden I fall off the wagon something sidetracks me and I I don't do it anymore and so he has a quote in there that he talked about today and it was about um, sometimes he, we intentionally or maybe unintentionally set a goal that is too hard so that we automatically fail um, thereby reconfirming that we can't do whatever it is we said and of course we're gonna feel better about not reaching a goal that's too hard than reaching not reaching a goal that's like pretty easy and then we could feel we feel really bad about ourselves if we couldn't stick with that goal versus setting a goal that's like really really hard so on her video today there's a guy that made a comment about going gluten free and dairy free as his take giving away something and she's like what are you crazy why would you give up so like why would you make your challenge so difficult whereas like for me I mean, sometimes I think it's taking the easy way out but for me today um, for my challenge I took out Starbucks because <laughs> again it's pretty easy not to go to Starbucks I just don't drive by Starbucks I don't go through the drive-thru and I just I can't purchase it so things like that for me are easy so I picked that as my challenge um, and out of the five I'm not sure how everybody's doing on their five but for me the water Oh, the water is one that I have to think about consciously and make sure that I do. So this one takes a little bit of effort from me that I um, fill up my bottles and that I'm drinking it and that in my head I'm keeping track of how many a day I'm having. Um, my goal is four of them to drink. So I'm not getting that goal every day, um, but that's something that I'm trying to do. The second one is the no Starbucks. That's easy for me. Like I said, that's not a hard one. The third one, and this is actually the one that I've been 100% on, so I'm in day eight and I did it today, it was my 30 minutes of exercise. So for me, um, I maybe it's it's not easy, like I'm going at 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night some nights to get it done. Uh, today I went out early and went while the kids were running at their run club, I went for a walk. Um, but that one is a conscious one that I have to do, but it's like, like as long as I get out the door, I've done it. And so um, my husband and my kids are supporting me in, in that as well. So they're going with me if it's late at night and I can't go for a walk by myself because it's not really safe to go out at 11 o'clock by myself. Um, they're being really supportive and helping me. So I'm day eight, eight check marks on my list for doing that. The one that I'm not doing really is the waking up early in the morning because that one is just not really fitting into my lifestyle that well. So I, like I said in a previous post, I stay up later um, and have some family time and some connection time where I'm out walking until 11 o'clock at night and then I'm not waking up early. What I am finding though is the days that I sleep in longer than I normally do. So if I'm usually up at seven, if I sleep in later, suppose I had one of those days this weekend and I felt terrible. I felt like I didn't get anything accomplished and I felt like my day was was gone and I felt more rushed all day and I, I just felt out of sorts all day, which is interesting thing if you're a bit reflective about it right that that's maybe not the best way to do it so I am going to continue to try and wake up earlier and get my stuff done as a mom with when you have a fat household that's so busy and there's so much so many things going on with all the kids and the pets and the just life and work 
um, that morning time lets me set my tone and my intention for the day so that I'm feeling a bit more organized through the day as well. And so this is going to be my parenting tip. I like to end these or add a parenting tip onto these things as well. So the parenting tip is around the kids and the teenagers. I mean, little kids tend to get up, so you don't have to worry about them sleeping in. But as they, your kids get older and they become teenagers, if you have a teenager, you can comment below that yes, this is true for you or not true for you. But they like to sleep. <laughs> like they, And I know they need more sleep, so it's really important that I'm supporting them and that they're getting their 8 to 10 hours of sleep a night. Um, eight hours for sure but not really more than that so every once in a while I say to the kids it's okay if your body needs to sleep like I had one child sleep till noon and I didn't wake them up because I I felt that they had been really busy and into a lot of things and that if their body was like literally just it wasn't because they were going back to sleep back to sleep back to sleep they literally slept through till noon and not and didn't wake up but that might be a sign that their body needed that kind of recharge and reset. So that I allowed happen once. So I let them do that once in a while. But I really, even though they have a weekend and they don't need to get up early, I do think it's important that as teenagers, as parents, we still wake them up. We still keep them on a schedule. There's a reason why I believe that to be true is I think it has to do with their mood and their emotions and their set. It's proven in scientific studies that people um, that get up on the same at the same time every day sets your internal clock so that it's more productive your emotions are a little bit better set your mindset is a little bit better when you have consistency so when you're waking up at the same time every day and going to bed around the same time every day your body gets into a little bit of a rhythm not a little bit a big rhythm of your uh, circadian cycles and then that's good for you and then that makes you feel more um, more healthy and at peace and your emotions are just a little bit more you know, constant. I think the same is the true for the teenagers. So my recommendation for you as parents of teenagers is that you get them up. You don't let them have sleep cycles that are all over the place. I think you'll find that it helps regulate their moods as well, their hormones regulated, and then they're eating kind of more consistently. If every day they're eating more at the same time of day, they're sleeping until noon and they've missed their breakfast. If they normally eat breakfast, that can mess them up as well. So. My recommendation, my parenting tip today is around sleep for teenagers and keeping them consistent, waking them up um, at the same time every day and then hopefully trying to get them to go to bed around the same time every night as well so that they're getting their 8 to 10 hours of sleep and it's always consistent. I hope that was useful for you. Let me know if that works. Let me know if your teenagers do that or if your teenagers are all over the board and if that's a problem at all in your house and by problem I mean like do you find that their emotions on weekends are a little like they're a little bit weird that on the weekend when they're doing that or do you find that it works for you and your family again everybody's different but in my family I think that that's a big one so that's it for today again make sure you drink your water um, get out for a walk if you haven't gone out and done your exercise today and uh, I'll touch base back tomorrow I hope some of you will join me live so that we can answer questions and we can chat through some of the things that people are facing around this. I'm all bundled up because it's cold here in Vancouver. Okay.